वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल अंकित इन जर्मनी मेरा नाम है अंकित और मैं अपने चैनल में बनाता हूँ वीडियोज रिगार्डिंग लाइफ वर्क एंड स्टडी इन जर्मनी आज का वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग वर्क एंड आज का टॉपिक जो है वो है हाउ टू बिकम अ डेंटिस्ट इन जर्मनी एंड टू डिस्कस दिस वी हैव अ स्पेशल गेस्ट ऑन अवर चैनल सो वेल लेट्स वेलकम डॉक्टर हेलो डॉक्टर श्रुति कैन यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ first uh, thank you for inviting me here uh, ankit so uh, i am dr shruti kasturi and uh, i live in germany for the past 4 or 5 years right now i migrated to germany just after my marriage and i am a dentist who is practicing here uh, can you tell about the process of becoming a dentist uh, in germany start with your german german is the first step learn till b2 b2 mm. is the level because most states here in germany uh, they want basic level of b2 mm. to enroll yourself for the examinations that they conduct choose the state that you wanted to pro- practice your profession in mm. so for me it was uh, baden wurtemberg when i started because my husband was working there it was very simple i did not have choices so uh, choose your state and when you choose your state you will know you can just google it up in the internet you will find in whatever state you choose the responsible body where you left to submit your documents for example for uh, baden wurtemberg you have some two uh, things called regierungspräsidium stuttgart and there's one other thing called zahnarzt kammer stuttgart the the two bodies are uh, responsible for this approbation for foreign dentists mm-hmm. and um, they are responsible for conducting exams once you have this b2 certificate in hand make all the list of documents um, that ready get all the documents ready get it all translated and to know what are the documents that you have to attach to the regierungs presidium stuttgart for example is always given in the website of the particular state's uh, responsible body so there you will find around 12 to 14 documents depending upon the state for mine it was around 13 i guess when i back then when i submitted a uh, few certificates which you already have in hand and few certificates that you will have to apply for example the police clearance certificate because i was living already in germany for one year that time i'll have to get a police clearance certificate from india telling that i don't have any criminal record there and i have to get a police uh, clearance certificate here from germany also be, uh, telling that i don't have any uh, criminal record here also in germany a uh, few of the certificates what they ask for are given from your college from your university itself like your degree completion certificate your internship completion certificate and stuff like that so with all these 13 documents together make it a pack and uh, s- send all these documents to a person who is a translator and ho- also has the right to stempel Mm. that is original that is give a seal that it all these documents are original kind of thing the the person has to write so you can mm-hmm. get a translator here in Germany. i did this here all in everything in germany okay uh, so just um, do everything and send it to the uh, responsible body of your state so once this is done you will have to write two exams one is the fsp and kp so first exam is the fachsprachprüfung which translate to the german language examination mm-hmm. particular for dentists that is the fachsprache and the second one is called the kenntnis prüfung or uh, the licensing exam or your knowledge exam and uh, before starting this too you get uh, again a reply from the responsible body telling that okay uh, shruti we have collected all your documents we'll have to undergo a check they do a routine check of how um, i have really passed the exam in india or mm-hmm. what is that it takes around 2 to 3 months now normally and this was before corona you have no idea right now takes one up to 6 months people tell mm. so uh, once that is done then you get this uh, um, unmailed doom bogen and once you fill it up and give it to you they tell you the dates they, but one really bad thing i would say there is a really bad thing here in germany they do not give you the dates like prior 6 uh, weeks or 8 weeks or 3 months in advance they give you maximum of 10 days or 15 days in advance Okay. So the moment you um, give this form, no, you have to start preparing for the exams. That is how it works. And they'll suddenly tell you, okay, you have this exam on maybe in two weeks from now. Hmm? Is it something? This, like this is about the fast track approval or the candidate approval? For so both, it was the same. So basically, it's a one-hour exam and a one-day exam. So it doesn't take 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 place in like two three days, unlike the candidate approval. Uh, for the fast track approval, it's about one hour. and uh, you have three parts part a part b and part c each part around 20 minutes of time um one part is going to be the doctor patient gesprach or doctor patient scenario 
Yes. It's like a role play. A, a doctor who is already a doctor here in Germany, he mm-hmm. acts like a patient <laughs> and he tells you that I have so and so problem and kind of that. Mm-hmm. You just have to make a um, ask him questions what you really wanted to get out the diagnosis mm. and just tell him that if i was in the practice i would have asked for so and so things and you can ask a lot from him whatever you can and uh, write down everything this is the first part write down means just take notes of whatever he says mm-hmm. so the second part is going to be a shriftlish or writing part where you will be given again 20 minutes of time write down whatever you he has told as a what do you call uh, we do something in oral medicine called case history writing mm-hmm. back in college so the same thing is going to be repeated here in the second part and as far as in the third part is concerned this doctor who actually played as patient will mm-hmm. now become a doctor and start questioning us again ah uh, okay so what do you understand uh, what uh, what is the patient's problem yeah. can yeah. you explain it properly or not or so yeah so, so the point in, in the, yeah this point actually is only to test the level of german okay mm-hmm. you are put in a vulnerable situation mm-hmm. you will have to really understand that if they talk something uh, native to germany mm-hmm. or if they joke something native to germany or if they talk something which you are really not aware of you should be in a position to tell no i'm sorry i'm new here i have no idea of what you're talking can you please translate this to hochdeutsch or yeah. the normal german what mm-hmm. people speak here because i am not from this region mm-hmm. i don't know the uh, words what you speak in this region so it would be great if you do that so this is what they actually expect empathy they expect empathy but mm-hmm. in a german way like you have to speak this uh, speak this out in german mm-hmm. and show that you are empathetic to them that is what is actually being expected uh, okay. here so Just that is the first exam and once it's done they give you a result like in 15 minutes <laughs> on on the same day <laughs> it's very fast that's very good actually you know you did not wait for Yes, yes. Days, months to know if you really passed or not. So it's one day exam, mm-hmm. and on the same day they give you the results. Is it like it a could... number of times also that you can give the exam? Yes, uh, fast track proof form you can give any number of times. There is no limit. That's the... But for KP, for each state, each part you can give only twice. Once you can write. If you fail it, you can give two more. So I should say um, in this case, I'm like three times. Oh, okay. You can... Once you write this knowledge test, you get what is called as approbatio. Okay, okay, got it, got it. So what I understood from the application procedure that they have to look for the uh, state in which they are interested. But is it necessary that they have to apply for the the dentist position from India, or they have to come here on job seeker visa and then they have to look for a position? How is it? Uh, no, uh, nobody is giving you a position from India. It's because. as i told you uh, it, it is not engineering because uh, they cannot hire you uh, based on what you do in india so if you actually want to start this procedure as i told you first learn the language come here in a language visa provided or uh, in something like me in my case for example if your spouse is ma- you are married and your spouse is here working in germany then it is quite easy or if you are alone and you want to come here i would suggest you coming by this uh, language visa Mm-hmm. uh like to know the language once you start doing your language course here side by side you can apply for uh, uh internship probably and at the same time you can apply to the behorde which is responsible for uh, all these procedures side by side and then you can make this visa for longer room here telling that you mm-hmm. want to apply visa for uh, yeah ah the extension that that is possible mm mm-hmm. do we need experience or after being doing the bds we can just come and apply how is it to be honest i really don't think experience plays a very big role and uh, can you tell what is the average salary one earns be- after becoming a dentist here in germany salary if you ask so i would say um, for a basic level like you just completed your approbation you just going to start there is actually two kinds of salaries which are provided here in germany okay one one per type of salary is that they tell you okay uh, shruti you are going to join this job uh, we are going to give you 3500 or 5000 or 4000 fixed salary okay that is one kind of job now the second kind of job second kind of salary here in germany here uh, is that uh, they how uh, big of an asset i am to the uh, practice Mm-hmm. they decide this base base level like say 3000 mm-hmm. and uh, depends upon depending upon the uh, clinic's revenue per month they give you a percentage share 
what i understood that you are also helping people who want to become dentists in germany can you tell what are the services you are offering right now right now i am offering uh, uh, one on one and group classes for fsp and kp exams like if you are already done with your b2 level you mm-hmm. can then approach me and i have uh, tied up with a german teacher because however good i speak german i am not so good at correcting their grammars mm-hmm. so all the grammar corrections are done by my german teacher who is with me mm-hmm. in this process and they'll be guiding them through the language part and i'll be guiding them through the foreign dentist view part like how do you mm-hmm. approach the exam how do you write the exam uh, what all you have to take care what all you have to study what all is not actually required nuances all those will be taught by me ac classes also are taught by me and there are few people who are like little relaxed and they are not so happy to start their own application process here in germany and in that case we also help them with the whole application process now if you are in india you want to start this process of becoming a dentist here we help you uh, we give you first and free online consultation which you can book with us after which we tell you mm-hmm. like uh, on which state you can choose or the different mm-hmm. options that you have uh, like from start to finish mm-hmm. like collecting all your documents like i told you you have to translate you have mm-hmm. to send them you have to there are little nuances in each steps which people forget or people when they forget you have to wait for another 3 to 6 months that happens sometimes mm-hmm. so we get we've already been through the process i think that they, it, this video will for sure help them to achieve their career yeah Yeah thank you thank you so much Ankit for giving me such a beautiful audio clears a lot of doubt about how to become a dentist in Germany if you have some doubts do mention that in the comment section below and do share it with your friends who want to become a dentist in Germany and do not forget to subscribe my channel i have seen that around 95% of the people are just watching the videos and not subscribing to my channel so do subscribe and until then see ya